Hi everybody and happy Father's Day to all of you dads out there. So I was thinking about my kids since today's Father's Day and I want to tell you about the, the toughest class I ever taught in my life. I've taught classes all over the place and, and have for several years and I tend to not get too nervous about teaching a class anymore. I've, I've done it quite a lot and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. But the most nervous that I've ever been for any class ever is easily when my daughter was in sixth grade and asked me to teach her science class. <laughs> uh, room full of engineers I'm okay with, room full of electrical inspectors and electricians I'm okay with, room full of sixth graders, I had no idea what to do. So I knew that I needed to keep it extremely basic. I brought my transformer that, uh, that I've got another video about. And I also decided to build another machine. And I don't want to call this anything yet because we can call it a generator or an alternator or even a motor. And, and I don't want to get too deep in the weeds yet. But here's what we have. I took this uh, little box of wood that I kind of made and I wound some wire around it. Now this is varnished wire. Uh, it's not just bare, it is varnished wire. And then inside of it, I have a permanent magnet. And these are called cow magnets. By the way, if you ever decide to do anything like this, get yourself a cow magnet. These things are incredibly strong. They're a permanent magnet. And I put the permanent magnet inside of this contraption and I can spin it around like that. And what I would call this, the spinning part that rotates, we would call the rotor and the stationary part we would call the stator. Now I'm going to call this an alternator because I think that's the most accurate phrase. However, if we want to call it a generator, that's fine too. And that word will probably come flying out of my mouth whether I like it or not. It's just, I don't say the word alternator very often in our industry. We talk about generators. Um, this is an alternator. If this had an internal combustion engine to do the work for us, and it had an exhaust system and a cooling system and voltage regulators, all of that inside of a big box, we would call that a generator. But as far as the actual production of the electricity, it's the alternator. Or uh, I think uh, another trade name is called the gen head when it comes to this. So the idea is we spin a magnet around uh, around these wires and we generate a magnetic field through induction. We generate a voltage. Now I'm going to just show you really quick. I've got the kind of the first, I just wound it a whole bunch of times. So this is one end of the winding and this is the other end of the winding. I'm going to put my test leads on here from my, uh, from my multimeter and I will produce a voltage let's see, by spinning the magnet. Now, this is measured in millivolts. <laughs> I'm not getting, you know, I'm not getting 240 volts by snapping my fingers. Uh, if I did, you know, I'd be a billionaire. But uh, this is in millivolts. You're not going to create any meaningful voltage with a cow magnet, you know, a box of wood. But to show the principle, the principle is sound. So we spin this, and that induces a voltage through the windings, and it's measurable. This is an alternating current alternator. We have the magnet. If you, uh, if you wanted to call that part of the magnet north and that south, north, south, north, south, every time it makes a complete revolution from north back to north, we would call that the frequency of the alternator. Uh, frequency is simply how many times something happens in a given amount of time. So, how many times does this spin in a given second? If I could snap my fingers fast enough, or maybe I could hook it to a drill, and actually really get this thing moving, or for that matter, I could, uh, I could dump some water on it, right? Like a waterfall hitting the blades, or I could hit it with some wind and make it spin that way. But if I could get this to make 60 revolutions in one second, that would be a 60 hertz alternating current generator, alternating current alternator. What's interesting about this also is that it's actually the same piece of equipment. If I were to take the two ends, and I'm not going to do it you know, for safety reasons, but if I were to take the two ends of my coil here and plug it into a wall socket, what would happen then? Well, what used to be an alternator would now become a motor. 
So if you could visualize this sitting underneath your kitchen sink, I plug this in under the sink. When I turn it on, the blades spin and it chops up little pieces of food and things that go down the uh, kitchen sink. So that would be just a simple alternating current motor. Now this, to be very clear, this is the absolute bare bones, most simplistic version that I could possibly make. Um, I could have done this differently. I could have made this uh, a four pole motor by putting, uh, you know, using like little permanent magnets, rare earth magnets, and gluing them around this, you know, so instead of having just a north and a south, I could have a north, south, north, south, and, uh, and that would be better. I could have done all number of different things, but to keep it extremely simple, uh, I wanted to do it this way. One of the things that, that was cool, I was just playing around today, and I never thought to do this, but I, I went out to my garage because I knew I had another cow magnet somewhere, and I found it. And again, if you don't have a cow magnet in your garage, this is one of the most useful things in my entire toolbox. But I was screwing around, and I thought, wait a minute, what if could I make this thing spin just through induction, right? So if this is north, it's trying to grab south. And when I flip it, it's pushing it away and grabbing the other one. So kind of interesting. Anyway, that is just a quick, bare bones, basic, basic, basic demonstration of an alternating current alternator or an alternating current permanent magnet motor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments.